Hello everybody, E here, uh, back again with another book review. If I'm not as peppy and perky and uh, energized as I usually am, I have some stuff going on in my personal life. If you want to know more about that, uh, you probably already know if you follow me on Twitter, but uh, yeah, some stuff going on with my mom. So if you want to read about that, I don't, I don't want to go on too long uh, in this book review so I will link you to my blog post to my blog. Uh, the post that I posted on my blog. It's been almost two weeks since uh, I uploaded a video, I believe. I'm not entirely sure because I've completely lost track of time. If you read the post, you'll understand why. And things have only gotten worse. Um, it got a little bit better than it got worse. Uh, so there's even more updates that are, that are to come once I get, you know, the time to actually sit down and write it down. But I wanted to get something up on the channel before everybody was like, I guess he's just dead. Um, so today we are talking about uh, Black Magic by R. St. Clair. It's an awesome bookmark that uh, Regina sent me as well. It's for the uh, Dark Hollow Chronicles, The Ghosts of Dark Hollow, The Witch of Long Shadows, which is a rad name, I think. Uh, the Lord of Blackshire. Blackshire? Whatever. Uh, if you don't know, R. St. Clair, or Regina, has her own YouTube channel. She does book reviews. She has some of the best book hauls, uh, a lot of retro horror, and we'll touch on that in a second. But uh, a lot. she has a fantastic, fantastic channel. She was nice enough to send me two of her books, and they are even signed, because she is super awesome like that. The signature right there. Um, but right off the bat, I enjoyed this book. I'm going to give it three stars. Now I'm going to tell you why. Uh, when I said we were going to talk more about uh, retro horror, uh, that's because I want to talk a little bit about how much I, I feel Regina, you know, has her inspirations on her sleeve. This felt very much like a retro horror novel. Um, a novel maybe of the 80s and 90s. That kind of thing. I wouldn't sit go far as far back as the 70s, but there are certainly some elements in this book that made me smile. Um, now, the reason right up front, I want to get the the one negative criticism I have, and the reason why um, I'm giving it three stars instead of four because I did enjoy the story quite a bit. There were several errors. There were enough errors that I found in the book that I that caught my attention and kind of took me out of the story. Um, most of these things, I will say that I believe that most of these errors were made during the editing process and maybe one more proofread uh, could have could have done or I'm not, I'm not sure what uh, Regina's editing process is but uh, maybe one more proof, proofread could have caught um, the the errors that I had. I know there was one where there was three on one page and that that's, that's upsetting you know when you have a story that's really good that you want to kind of, you know, fanboy over and it's like, I had a lot of fun with this to, to be distracted by that and I feel it would be dishonest to uh, my viewers, uh, the watchers of this channel, if I didn't mention those things because um, I've had times in the past where people have come back and said, oh, you didn't mention this or that or the other, so just trying to be completely honest and upfront. Um, but the content of the book, the story is a lot of fun. I had a blast reading it. Um, there, especially one character in particular, his name is Lloyd. Um, <laughs> Lloyd is douche-tastic. Uh, he's one of those, those utter jerks that I enjoy reading about. I don't enjoy knowing people like this in real life, and I don't pay too much, too much attention to people like Lloyd in real life, but they are a lot of fun for me personally to read about. Uh, Lloyd's misogynistic, Lloyd's an asshole, Lloyd's all these things, and he's a lot of fun to read, even though he is this jerk. Um, so, bravo, Regina, uh, on Lloyd. I uh, had a lot of fun with that. I also really enjoyed the premise. Um, there's a twist in here I didn't see coming, and that's always, that's always pleasant. Uh, it's always a lot of fun when I get tricked. Uh, I didn't see the, the ending coming. Now, this one isn't... I wouldn't say it's... It's it's not your any kind of like hardcore horror or anything like that. It's more of a, a dread kind of thing. Um, there's even a lot of dark. I, I felt 
I felt there was some dark comedy. Um, and there's also, it, it's, this, this is a compliment, I hope it comes out as a compliment. Listening to, um, Regina talk on her, on her channel, listening to the way she talks, um, how, uh, her, I, I, I guess her, not her diction or pronunciation, anything like that, it, I'm always amazed when a, an author can completely embody an entire, uh, entirely different type of character. And that's what impressed me the most about Lloyd, uh, is, you know, you, you see a certain side of Regina on her YouTube channel, and then you read Lloyd, and you're like, well then, um, <laughs> Lloyd's got a filthy, filthy mouth, and while Regina might be that, you know, be, you know, d might talk like a sailor in her, in her, you know, everyday life, on the YouTube channel she doesn't come across that way, so I was very impressed by how out of character she was able, or into character, I should say, how into character she was able to get. And that's one thing with these characters. I'm a huge fan of characters. Period. Characters carry a story for me. There can be absolutely no plot whatsoever and a character will save the story for me. Um, with, with this one, the, her characters really, really do shine. Um, but, and like I said, the only negative criticism I have is the, the amount of errors I found. Now, by no means is this unedited garbage. I, when, I should have brought that up at the beginning, but no means is that you can tell Regina knows what she's doing, and these are what I call honest typos or honest errors, instead of just tossing out a first draft, you know, just <laughs> set it and forget it kind of thing. Um, this is, th this has, it feels like it has been worked on, and a lot of times in the editing process, words will get deleted, um, or you will see what you thought you wrote instead of what you actually wrote. Um, I've been doing this long enough that I can usually tell honest errors and honest typos from someone who just doesn't care, and Regina obviously does care. Um, so I'm going to recommend, um, if you are not put off by the occasional error here or there, um, I would say in a 150-page book there's probably 15, um, maybe 20 errors in the entire book. Um, it was enough that I noticed, but it wasn't so so stupidly obvious that it broke the entire book for me, or else I just wouldn't have finished it. Um, I, I suggest you go out and check it out. Um, she has another book, uh, was it Black Mask? Unmasked. I'm sorry, not Black Mask. It's Unmasked. She sent me Unmasked also. I'll be reading that one probably in the next couple months. Uh, but I enjoyed this one to continue to follow uh, Regina, and she did mention that she was going to go back. I did contact her. Um, she was going to go back and clean up the manuscript again and then republish it. So um, maybe wait a, li a little while before you grab it. Um, but if you grab it on Kindle or whatever, it should update. So, But I, I recommend it for the story, if nothing else. Um, I want to go out on a, a, just a thank you. Um, the, those of you who hang around to the end of these videos, are usually the people who interact with me the most. I want to give a, a heartfelt thank you to everybody who has been there for me, who has uh, pay, paid attention while I ranted um, and just was just overly emotional on Twitter um, while my mom was going through the, the worst of it. And she still is going through some pretty bad stuff. And we don't know if she's going to make it. Uh, right, right now she's just kind of lingering. And that really, really bothers me. Um, but I need to get back to work uh, to try and take my mind off this because she there hasn't been any big changes it's just it, it got bad and stayed bad um, but thank you so much to everybody who reached out um, everyone who who sent their well well wishes their prayers their their positive vibes all that stuff I really really do appreciate appreciate you I love you all so until next time I have been e you have been you this has been another book review I'll talk to you guys later bye bye